Here's a clip of the same concept in the same game. We're just trying to show different cap accelerator movements that the defenses will incorporate um, to take away arch entry points. So in this clip, you'll see that the defense has changed the front slightly. They've moved their tackles now where the three technique is to the strong side. You see the three technique is now to the, to the tight end side, and then now they put the two eye weak. And so this will change the arch entry point slightly. The combinations here, however, will not change. We still have an out block on the five. We're still going to car the two eye up to the play side plug player. It's still base blocks on the back side because we've made a hit call. So our backside guard is going to base block the three, take him where he wants to go, and then our backside tackle is going to base the five. And now our fullback or tight end here has got to read okay, the post-snap movement of the slanter or the, the down lineman to determine if he's going to fit into A or B gap on the backside pursuit player. Let's look at the play develop. And let's work, focus on the backside here. So you can see how that three technique slants across the guard's face and jumps into A gap. So pre-snap, the fullback sees that the A gap's uncapped. So he starts to fit there and then he sees the movement. So now he recorrects and recalibrates and is able to fit up nicely on the pursuit. You can see how critical it is that that running back holds the center line. He goes right down the hash. So we really like that play. You can see how pressing that center line forces the, the positive plug player to fit in the B gap because that's his gap. And he takes him right up to the car combination and we're able to work off, get surface there and generate an explosive run here on the hit game.